six contestants of each. This is the best of the best right now for the Northwest competing, and I'm extremely excited to show it to you and to see the outcome today. With that, uh, my Toastmaster seems to have exited the room very quickly, so I'm going to just go over a couple of housekeeping rules with you. Everyone should have an agenda. If you do not, they are located in the back of the room. There is also sample ballots in there. I encourage all of you to be a judge today. Follow along at home. I like everyone to play along as a, as a judge. See how you rank the contestants. See if they, if the winners come out the way that you thought they would, and really test your skills as a judge. I'll give everybody a, a few seconds to, to get an agenda if you don't, so that we can get quiet and ready for our postmaster to take her spot.
District Sergeant of Arms, Elizabeth Stevenson.
campers when I advise you to do so, please signal me with the green light. <clears throat> One more minute. After all contestants have spoken, the judges will be given the time to meet <coughs> their ballots. We will now begin the tabletop contest. Contestant number two, Jeff Scanlon. If you had one day to go back in time and change one instance in your life, what would you change and how would you change it? If you had one day to go back in time and change one instance in your life, what would you change and how would you change it? Jeff Scanlon. Probably 
be my first two weeks with Toastmasters. You see, I started Toastmasters about two years ago, and a friend of mine who's just joined Toastmasters, he says, Jeff, when you join Toastmasters, look for three things. He says, one, make sure you get to a club that's close to you. Two, make sure they have at least 15 members. And find a club that has at least two or three good DTNs. Then, when you do join, jump into contests right away. <laughs> and so I did. I joined Toastmasters, and two weeks later, I jumped into a contest. This contest, Table Topics. And I went to Area, and I was all excited. And guess what? I went there, and there were three of us. But do you know what? It was a learning experience. Why would I change that? Because if I could look back then to what I know now, and all the knowledge I've learned from Toastmasters, I probably would have tried to get a little bit more prepared. I would have talked to a little bit more people in the club to try and find out exactly what was all involved. So if I had to change anything, it would be the way that I started Toastmasters and joined the contest for table time. Just because of all the people that came from so many places, that I'd like to see again. Is it the birth of our first daughter? Or the second? Or the third? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Being born at home with the help of a midwife. You know, the guy is the brooding spectator. It's the wife that's doing the heavy lifting. But of all those days, I still think that maybe the day we were married is the one I would like to go back to. How is it that I can be both nervous and excited here at Table Topics? And yet the day we were married, it couldn't start without either of us. And yet, coming from two different directions, we were still anxious and nervous and excited. Could I have relaxed more? So, could I have smiled more? I think so. Could I have enjoyed more? Yes, if I were watching me do it, I could have. <laughs> <laughs> but yet, making that step toward the next big journey in life, happy, assured, confident, no. <laughs> happy, trying to be assured, and hoping to be confident knowing that we would be in this journey linked for what we would hope to be the rest of our lives. So I look back on that and say, glad. Contestant number four, Rose Schultz. If you have one day to go back in time and change one instance in your life, what would you change and how would you change it? If you have one day to go back in time and change one instance in your life, what would you change and how would you change it? Rose Schultz.
as bottom as you can possibly get, and I had to struggle all the way back up. I would love to tell myself as a child, it's okay to be different. You don't have to fit in, you don't have to be like everybody else, because everybody is unique, and we all learn and grow from each and every one of our experiences. And I would tell myself, it's okay to be different, have the confidence, so that you don't have to go through all of those negative experiences to be the confident, strong person that you are today. You can learn and grow from the positive experiences without always having to go through the negative challenges. And that is what I would tell my little child so that I can grow and learn. Contestant number five, Shakti Kasa. If you had one day to go back in time and change one instance in your life, what would you change and how would you change it? If you had one day to go back in time and change one instance in your life, what would you change and how would you change it? Shakti Kasa.
six, Jerry Evans. If you have one day to go back in time and change one instance in your life, what would you change and how would you change it? If you have one day to go back in time and change one instance in your life, what would you change and what would you, and how would you change it? Jerry Evans.
Jeff has it. I want to talk to you about why you should attend this spring conference. Number one, we have a lot of fun. Who thinks this contest is fun?
a speaker and coach, and she's going to be giving a session on Saturday. In addition to her, we also have our international director, Alan Shainer. He's going to be coming to town, and he's also going to give a session. So great question, And guys. who else is speaking? Most important. Yeah. Who else is speaking? Singing? Baseball. Wayne. Oh, yes. Baseball. Wayne Mesmer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He will be singing the Star Spangled Banner. We will also have a color guard. And it's just a, a whole entire list of things that we're going to be doing. So I'm, those are some of our most important ones. Anybody have anything else? Go ahead. Thanks, Jerry. So we're all excited to be hosting this. Yes, Jerry. Are you, are you looking for more volunteers to help out? We are always looking for more volunteers to help out. So please, if you would like to volunteer, see me. I'm sitting right back there. And I will happily add you to the list to assist with the spring conference, to make it the best spring conference ever. That's always our goal. Ms. Postman.